Today, we're fishing big swim baits for pond monsters. We haven't filmed a big swim bait video in a while, so we decided to try it out at this trophy pond. And boy, did these big bass have a surprise for us. Oh, 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 dude, he's here. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh my gosh, there he is. I might need help with this. Oh, no way, Tara. I got another big one. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, it's a freaking giant. Tara, that's a monster. I'm not even kidding. I'll all right guys today we are fishing big swim baits for pond monsters i got a six inch mag draft right here that we're going to start off with and then later on in the video i got this big mac daddy mag draft that we're going to be trying out so we're going to go ahead and tie this up on my kicking their bass tv x lose combo if you guys want to check out any of the kicking their bass tv x lose combos you can check them out on my website kickingtheirbass.com it'll be linked down below i actually got a big duck lure still tied on this um, from a video we filmed last week if you guys want to check that one out it is pretty crazy you can check it out on my youtube channel that video was insane not only a lot of fun but we just caught a bunch of really good fish let's go ahead and get our scissors out here and get to work guys i am so pumped to be out here today beautiful outside we got a little wind which i hope that doesn't affect the audio on our camera too much but it is just beautiful out and um, i'm hoping we end up smacking them got tara by the way what's up tara she's gonna be going for another pb she caught her pb about a week and a half ago hopefully she'll get a big one today before we get deeper into this video only 27 percent of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button really helps the channel i'd appreciate it we're gonna tie this mag draft up with a uni knot here and then i'm gonna turn around and show you the pond that we're at today it's actually a trophy pond we fished this about three weeks ago and caught a bunch of five to seven pounders depending on if they're gonna bite it a lot you know we're gonna throw this see what we can catch on it if we don't have a ton of bites we'll switch up to some different baits throughout the day and then we're gonna end off on the big mac daddy to try to secure hopefully a double digit bass later on in the video tara's gonna be starting off with just a lipless crankbait pretty basic that's what we've been catching a bunch of big ones on out here so i want her to uh get the feel for that she hasn't really thrown a lipless much so i'm gonna let her kind of play around she'll be wearing a gopro too so we'll get her angle we got a scale with us today we also have a measuring board for the online tournament that we're fishing the online mock tournament um but yeah we're already tied up so let's go ahead and get down to the pond and get to fishing guys i'm ready to catch some big ones here goes nothing boys and girls big swim baits it has been so long since we filmed a video like this and y'all love the big swim bait videos we're just gonna progressively what in the world there's a huge bass right there there's a huge bass right here Shoot right here oh 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 dude he's huge oh my gosh no way no freaking way i caught a giant i didn't even i haven't even i'm losing my mind i'm losing my mind one of the craziest fishing moments i've ever had in my life right away oh my god we just caught like a freaking four and a half pounder without even casting. I just saw him swimming right by the bank. I threw this in here and he ate it right away. This is about to be a freaking heater, boys. Hit the like button for that. Already got a big swim bait bass. I don't even know if I consider that a catch. I don't know what just happened. Last time we were here, we didn't have a fish for like 30 minutes, man. I can't even believe that just happened. One of the craziest moments at the beginning of a video I've ever had. There we go, boys. I don't even know if she's quite four. She might be like a high three. Let's get her on the scale real quick and then get her back in the water. 3.63, over three and a half to start off the freaking video on a first flip it wasn't even a cast a first flip fish i don't know if that is good luck or bad luck you guys leave your opinions down below it's first cast fish good luck or is it bad luck i think we're gonna smoke them today boys all right baby thank you for biting she is just hyper as can be all right baby go get bigger for me go turn into a, a five pounder there she goes what a start to today's episode i could have never assumed in a million years that i would have had that happen when walking up wow big swim bait fishing is not supposed to be that easy so we might have just got spoiled for, for the start of this oh man what a way to get this video started maybe that's just a great sign <gasps> no way tara i got another big one. Oh, it's a monster oh it's a freaking giant <gasps> Oh, that was every bit of a seven pounder right there. Every bit of a seven pounder. Holy cow. Oh, he was so big. 
Okay, this might be the craziest day of fishing of our lives. What is going on? When me and Connor came out here three weeks ago, it literally took us like 45 minutes to catch a fish. And I threw two casts here and had one close to four pounds. And then that one had to have been every bit of seven. That was a straight mammoth. Come on, big fish. That got me pumped up. Got my adrenaline pumping very quick. Now I'm hungry for another bite. I mean, used to always throw in the eight inch mag draft guys, which is the one I showed you in the package. That's like usually what I throw. I was just like, you know what? Let's start a little smaller just to see if the bites change. And I remember my, my buddy, A-Dub, Adam, he throws the six inch a lot. I prefer the eight. And uh, he just said, there's so many more bites that you get on the six, which makes sense. I mean, we couldn't even get this fish off this bait at the beginning there. <laughs> They were just instantly hammering it. All you feel when you're reeling the swim bait, guys, is just that tail kind of kicking pretty hard. You gotta reel this thing pretty slow if you gotta see it in the water there to make it, I'm gonna pitch it back out, to make it kind of run natural. If you start reeling a little fast, this bait's gonna go sideways. See, that's one thing to keep in mind is to keep our retrieve very steady, very slow. Every once in a while, maybe pop it or kind of stop it to make it just kind of do some sporadic movement. And by the way, I've been asking you guys in every video, if you guys were fishing this mag draft or for you guys out there that have fished the mag draft, how would you guys work it? For me, I've always just steady retrieved the bait just like this. Every once in a while, I'll give it a pop or give it a pause. That's just how I've done it. But, uh, I would like to hear y'all's feedback on how you guys work this bait down below. Oh my gosh, under that dock. That just looks so good. Walked into the nastiest old spider web. There we go. Make a cast down that. Oh, there he is, boys. Not a big one, I don't think. Yeah, just a two pounder, but he ate it exactly where he should have been. Gosh, this little. They ain't even two pounds, boys. That fish is like a pound and a half. And he ate this dang mag draft. <laughs> that is awesome right there. Thank you, baby. Beautiful eyes on that fish. Like a normal eye on this side. This side just looks crazy. Thank you, buddy, for biting. Only a little pound and a half, -er, but I appreciate the nibble, man. Especially on a big swim bait. I appreciate the effort. Let's get another cast on that bank. That is a good little grass line. It looked good for a fish to be there. He thumped that thing pretty good. Not even a big fish. That's just so cool. And that's one thing kind of goes back to the six and the eight inch mag draft. The eight inch mag draft has such a bigger profile. The six is still fairly small. And uh, that really goes to show that even some of these smaller fish still eat these big baits. And even the eight inch mag draft, I've caught some good, you know, three, four pounders on, but I don't think I've caught anything below that on the eight. It's a hefty bait. This six can kind of, you know, anything and kind of bite at it, which is awesome. If they're willing to, you know, it's still a big bait. Oh, fish just blew up on the edge of that grass, guys. Looks like he's eating a dragonfly. Oh, just got hammered. I can't tell how big this one is. Definitely bigger than the last one, but doesn't feel like a massive one. He's running at me like crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, he's smaller than the last one. What in the world? This one's definitely fatter, but the fact that that fish is eating that swim bait is beyond me, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Look at that, man. Wow. Thank you, buddy. They are crushing the mag draft, guys. We have had already four fit or three fish technically. And uh, it's only been like 30 minutes of fishing. Like this is one of those places you don't get a ton of bites at, but there's just some big ones here. But heck man, I've, I've had three fish in about 30 minutes on a mag draft. It's about as exciting as it gets, man. Only thing that can make it better is a dang eight, nine, 10 pounder. Throw down that grass line where that fish blew up at. Seemed like he would, oh, just got, dude, just got straight knocked, man. 
I don't know if you guys saw my rod tip. Straight up, just one hard knock. That was it. Last couple of fish, they knock it a few times and they load up on it. That one just straight up kind of hammered at it. But they are freaking smoking this swim bait. Holy cow. You're having some luck out here? They are hammering me right here on this little point. I got hit again right off that grass. No, I saw that. It had a fat little belly. No, I had another bite. Ooh, something just went in my hair. Spider web. You're okay. You're fine. They won't do nothing to you. You said that as I pulled a spider web out of my hair with a spider on it. Start beaming that trap. I'll just fan cast right out there. I've been getting slammed. I start reeling it in. Keep your rod tip a little high so you don't get that grass on it. Yeah. You should get drilled. Just like that. Right Biggin. Right Keep away. that pressure, Tara. Keep that. That's a monster. That Keep that pressure. Good. That is a freaking tank, girl. You got a good one. Oh my god. Oh nice. Looks like a good three pounder. I'm gonna help you land it. Keep there that pressure, go. girl. Instantly. Tara's hooked up. Oh yeah. Oh, Let's go, go, girl. Yeah, go. Nice. We're bringing them to you. Nice fish. Look that at that. That's a good fish. Good fish girl. Is, I'm on board now. Now you're on board. See, they're out there on that point, aren't they? They are smoking as soon as it. I started reel it. It's pretty cool, guys, to see that because you know I'm sitting here throwing swim baits. Tara's throwing a just a standard lipless, which is what I caught my big ones on last time. And uh, to see that I was catching one and a half pounders, and then she throws her first cast in there, catches a good three three and a half pounder is just awesome. That's yeah, beautiful. Fish. Good job, girl. Thanks, buddy. There you go. Now you're on board. We didn't walk down there last time. We stopped at that dock. I was a little right, off there. the point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you casting on my head. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get that angry. <laughs> no way. Yep. No way. Oh, he's oh, off. He came off. No, I'm so bummed I lost him. You can keep casting all there. I'm probably gonna walk down here. All right, guys. Let's see if we can get some more on the edge of this grass. That is so crazy that Tara caught like a three pounder. And the ones I caught were like a pound and a half and she's throwing just a standard trap. It's like that three pounder didn't want to eat this or maybe the small ones got a little aggressive and just kind of took it away from them. You know what I mean? That's always a possibility. Well, we're rocking it. Let's see if we can catch some more down this bank. I haven't seen the fish this active one in this pond ever. I think this is by far the most active I've ever seen these fish. And two, I just haven't seen the fish this active in general, like the last couple months. And, and to be honest, the last like five fishing trips I've gone on has been raining. I've been having the fish in the rain. So maybe we just finally got some good consistent weather after a few weeks and these fish are just ready to eat. It is just so beautiful today, 90 degrees, little hot, but it is just a beautiful day compared to the weather the last few weeks. That could be causing these fish just to get crazy. Oh, got one. There we go. There we go. Yep. I can't tell yet. Oh, it's running with me. There we go. I couldn't tell what he was going to be like. Okay. I want to get those in me. Well, he definitely felt bigger than what he was, but still a beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. Tara over there smoking them. Could be one right here by this lay down. So you got like some of these standing trees out here in the middle, guys. You would think that these bass would stage up on that so good. You would think there's no bites on it yet. The last time that I fished some of these standing trees out here, I caught a few, but really like they were they were kind of smaller compared to the other fish I was catching, and we really didn't have a ton of bites. This little point right here just looks so good though. Sheesh. It looks spicy. Come on, biggin. I just want to feel that thump. I just want to feel that thump. Maybe that's a new uh, fishing song, man. I just want to feel that thump. That's a new banger, banger of the century. So guys, this is the corner of the pond that has a bunch of these standing trees. This is about as far as that we can walk 
just can't get back there unless you're on a kayak or a boat there's a couple more isolated ones out here and this is the area that i would just say looks so dang good but i just haven't ever been able to pick up on any really good fish i don't know maybe it's going to change today i'm hoping that we'll get a bite it just seems like they're staged on that point pretty well there might be a little hot spot out here we can just keep fan casting there might be a little hot zone with about 20 fish on it Come on, big I want a big bash. Oh my gosh, there he is. There he is. That felt like I hit a dang brick wall, boys. Oh, that's a mega. Tara, can you get the board for me? This is a tank, guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, he hammered that thing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a dang four pounder. He smoked that dang mag draft. Look at that, boys. Beautiful. Wow, what a fish. All right, guys, fish is bleeding just slightly. We're gonna go ahead and get her back in the water, but that was an amazing bite. Thank you, honey. Wow, what a freaking way. We we're just talking about it about not really catching any big ones on this side and uh we ended up trying to find a hot zone which it looks like there's just a middle out there that i would assume has a drop off look at this my dang swim bait starting to break now that ain't good they're just smoking it so dang good causing my swim bait to mess up <laughs> might have to go get us a brand new one i got a couple more yeah he's all messed up now <laughs> but it looks like we might have found some fish out there in the middle i don't know how much longer this swim bait will run okay we're gonna beam her out there again. There might be some more stacked out in the middle. He hit it like a Mack truck. It really felt like I hit just a brick wall and he was already on there. That was the best bite yet, I will say that. All right, guys, I think we're gonna start to head on this side of the pond. This is where I've had the most luck with big fish, way out here in the middle on a drop off. So I'll catch you guys over here. Before we head over there, guys, I kinda wanna get on this dock again because we had them biting pretty good out here. I didn't really try fishing anywhere else on this point too like as far as out here to the right or out here straight ahead it might be something we want to try too oh oh that bite man that mag draft bite guys is something else that hard thump i got a little too excited i thought we had it we'll throw it back in there oh that was a bite. Oh, bit it again. Come on. Yeah, he hit it like twice. He just didn't commit to it. All right, boys, back where it all started. Back where it all started. We caught. Oh my gosh, I got a mega. Tara, that's a monster. I'm not even kidding. I'll... Oh my God. Oh my God. I might need help with this. He took my swim bait. But I freaking got him, girl. Oh my gosh, look, it literally left me with a... Oh, my swim bait's right there in the middle, you see it? Yeah, you can try to get it. All right, that is a mega. I don't think, nah, that's a six pounder. <laughs> when he was jumping, I did get a little excited. But that was a freaking monster, boys. Stay calm, baby, stay calm. I'm just gonna weigh you. You're okay, you're okay. Almost a six pounder, 5.75, five and three quarters. We got a big fish, boys. That right there is a big fish of today. What a freaking tank. All right, guys, here we go. Straight up pig, almost a six pounder. Gonna get him back in the water where he belongs. He's been going crazy. She had so much energy, now she gets in the water and she don't wanna swim. There she go. What a tank, guys. We came back to where it all started. We must have some good luck in this corner because we had that fish from the start and threw in there, hooked that giant, threw right on the edge of that grass line and got smoked. That is an awesome start. All right, boys, that is the aftermath. Totally tore the whole wire out. That's the one thing about the mag drafts, which I mean, you can't expect them to last forever. They all are a soft plastic swim bait. But once you start catching them on it like that, it's gonna tear that bad boy up. That's pretty wild, man. So boys, I got this other mag draft that we're gonna tie on. It's actually a different color which i'm curious to try it out because i've never 
use this one. That color I was throwing is usually my go-to when it comes to mag drafts. It's like the one I just usually always throw. All right, guys, that is the new swim bait that I'm throwing. Look at that color. It just looks beautiful. All right, guys, we came out here to the other side. We didn't even fish this last time we came out. Big shallow flat right here, a little point that comes off. I'm curious to see if there's some fish on it because that other point, they were just loaded. This place is huge. There we go. There we go. Oh, could you see him? Can you see him? I didn't see him. Oh, he's a pretty good size one. Oh, you didn't get it? Oh, what's he stuck on? Oh, you got him on the pole. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Get him up there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry, buddy. Good job. Not a big yeah. one, but he's something, right? I haven't had a bite in a minute. It's a good one. Good job. Okay. All right, guys, we're about to do a couple things. I got this mock crush right here, with like 20 pound line. I'm actually going to rig up this Mac Daddy mag draft. We finally made it to that portion of the video, boys. We've been throwing the six inch. It's time to throw the eight. And that really doesn't say much because that's a two inch difference. But comparing these baits is pretty ridiculous. Let me show you guys the difference here up close and personal. That's supposedly a two inch difference. I don't believe, bro, there's no way. I don't know. This thing just looks so much larger. Like doesn't even compare. This bait is literally probably three times, four times the plastic that this one's made out of. So we're actually going to tie this onto the Mott Crush here. Just a uni knot, same way. Boom, just like that. We're going to cut our tag in. There we go, pow. We got eight inch mag draft on the Mott Crush. Perfect. And this bait was just not running right. It would not run straight. So I'm actually going to cut this off and I'm going to rig up a chatter donk half ounce white and chartreuse go ahead and tie this up we're tying this on the kicking combo boom give them a little snip and i'm gonna pair it up with this little tiny swim bait right here pretty basic nothing crazy just like that and that is what we're going to be rocking on the kicking combo so we're going to bring two rods down there kicking combo chatter donk mock crush massive mag draft and that's gonna be our choices. Dangle, dangle on the suspended chair. Oh my God. Yay! <laughs> My first chatterbait fish, a little twinkie, but he ate it up in the shallow water. There we go. If it was a fish any bigger than that, I'll, it would be a little hard for me to get him up on the bank. But he's a little tiny twerk. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Not the most ideal uh, fishing spot, but definitely wanted to come back here and try it shallow with a chatter donk. I've had a couple big ones bite where I just cast it before. It might have been in the springtime though. But I don't know. It could have been in the summer. I, it's hard for me to remember. Did have a few big ones bite back here. It's just super shallow. All right, guys. Well, we ventured off pretty far to catch one tiny Twinkie bass. So we're going to go back, throw this around a little bit, maybe even throw that eight inch mag way out there in the middle and see what else we can catch. But we got a long journey, so we're going to start walking back. All right, y'all, it is time. Big eight inch mag, Magasaurus Rex. That is a monster, boys. Let's see if we can get one on this puppy. We're going to be beaming way out. <sighs> if we get a bite on this, guys, let me tell you, it is not going to be small. I've caught probably 10 fish on this bait in, in my lifetime and I already got one. Wait, 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 he came off, he came off. He had it right away. You cannot make this up. He had it right away. Oh my gosh. I would have never in a million years thought I would have got bit before even reeling this. It's like the last time, when, my first cast. If we remember correctly, my second cast, I got hammered too. get your 
Oh no! I gotta break this off, guys. That sucks. Oh, there goes $30. All right, guys. Sadly, broke off the Big Mac draft, but I got another one of these, and it's the one that they were smoking. So we'll put this puppy back on. That sucks to just barely start throwing that swim bait and then have it break off right away. That just that hurts. I have to order some more, but it's all good. They were smoking this one, so. And we haven't had really many bites at all in the last like hour and a half, two hours. I don't know what happened. These fish just shut off. So maybe it's a good thing we go back to what got us started and might be able to start smoking them again. Cause I could not get them off this dang bait. I'll tell you that it was something, something special for sure. Boys, I might start to like the six inch better than the eight. I was saying I, I really like the eight, but to be honest, the six inch, you can end up reeling so much faster. That big one, once you start to reel it too fast, it just starts spinning on top of each other. This one, it kind of stay subtle and it's just a lot easier to work <laughs> like it's much more casual feeling this thing on my rod versus feeling that eight inch one it's such a night and day difference it's kind of crazy uh and i can kind of feel in my base oh my gosh there we go oh boys this is the bait this was the bait for today i just cannot believe how good they're eating this thing the six inch in this color forgot what this color is called if anybody knows drop it down below but that right there is the freaking bait boys and this point is the dang point because we haven't had many bites like back to back anywhere except for this point this has been our savior today there's a bunch of fish out here what i was getting to is i can just feel this bait work so much better from the six inch to the eight on my rod another thing is that eight inch is not meant to be thrown on a rod like this like i can get away with the six inch on a kicking combo or the crush or anything but that eight inch really ain't meant meant for these rods that's another thing there we go there we go oh yeah that's your biggest one that's your biggest one girl you gotta keep that pressure though Get that rod bit. Oh, I don't know. He's getting a little smaller as he's coming in. He's a three pounder though, definitely. Definitely your either your best or your second best. Second best. Good job, girl. A beautiful fish. Not a bad one. Good two pounder. Two and a half. Good job. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Eat it. Don't be freaking playing with me, man. <laughs> you know, one thing I figured out about this mag draft today, guys, when they hit it once, they usually don't come back and eat it. I think one time I had one come back and start hitting at it again. He didn't even commit, but it's kind of weird. Once they kind of bite at it, it's like they don't really eat it again. As far as the follow-up cast, I haven't really had luck too. Let's see if we can uh, maybe catch them on this cast. Same cast. Boom, right there. Let's see if we can get them to bite. Just kind of tickled the back of it the first time. Come on, baby. Crunch it down on this thing, boy. There's so many fish on this point. This is like the hot zone today. Oh, dude, that was so sick literally watched him eat it on the edge of that grass right there not a big one but man was that a cool freaking bite and you know what sucks this thing just broke my swim bait instantly that really blows i literally just opened the swim bait for that to break on one fish is kind of eh, i don't know that's, that's kind of disappointing pointing you know what i mean like you just spent all that money on that bait and you get one bite and it's done that sucks but we got us a nice fish and that was a cool eat right up by the bank thank you so much for biting buddy that was awesome